Good morning guys, Ty over at A&L in Jackson, Tennessee. Today's look over is going to be this Wildwood. So this is 2024 Wildwood, regular Wildwood, not an X-Lite. In this case, not a view either, which is a newer thing that they're doing. Platinum package, so it gives you the smooth wall. This floor plan is a 22 ERA era. We're looking around 28 feet and around 6,200 pounds. Not too bad considering 28 feet, 6,200 pounds. This is a wood frame. We're gonna hop in and see what we can find out. As always, guys, I like to get into these new ones, kind of fresh. I do a general look over for the size and weight, but beyond that, I try not to go too far into the details. That way I can see it with my eye to tell you what I see as we go along, okay? So here we are. So Wildwoods Platinum Package gives you that smooth wall. This is our 22 ERA era. With it being a regular Wildwood package that should be enclosed and heated underneath. And for this year, they've done a better job. I say better job. They're just tinting the windows. That's going to be a big change from previous years. Right up front, 30 pound propane tank, so not your 20s. Be those larger ones you can see how high off the ground this chassis is too pass through with access from the bed still nicely finished off i know there's a big difference in the fit and finish from 22 to 23. that's a laundry catch goes up through the top here dry erase surface here now one cool thing you can do is laminate your checklists and put them on this board go ahead and tape them to it makes things easier for your setup and breakdowns for a lot of people. Magnetic holdbacks on those doors too. And then our nicely finished off front cap. Notice how that wraps way past the top. So what used to be an exposed seam at the top where water and things could technically get through to is now gone. Slide box, ample windows still tinted. And then those quick drop stabilizers. There is an enclosed underbelly. And then our connections up toward the front here. Now on this particular one, I see less flex in our sidewalls and this is textured now to help these slide seals be able to pull out to where they're supposed to be. Set up four slide toppers. Our small holders are there at the top. And then our back holder for a ladder is there. You do have to purchase that telescoping ladder though. Now along the back, full size tire, you do have a bumper. Our vent, just about everything is along this back wall, which is kind of cool. Furnace, electrical hookup, outdoor shower, hot and cold, and your city connection water, as well as black tank. And thankfully, they have it color coded now so you can tell which one is your regular city water or which one's your black and not have those get mixed up. On demand or tankless water here, so gas only. And then coming around to our campsite, good size awning because this unit being 28 feet long, just a big size awning. Wildwood is really pushing for the larger windows probably from here on out, so expect to see that three step and that step is a little bit wider than many because that door is wider than many obviously a tandem axle outdoor speakers gravity fill for your fresh tank and then set up for tv if you want to do that outdoors i appreciate that they're putting the speakers lower too if you're at a campsite it's just a little bit more neighborly to have the volume turned down a little and that helps if the speakers are down. So let's hop in and see what we can find out. 22 ERA eras slide in this case. And when we step up, look how open this floor plan is, which is really, really, really cool. And the amount of counter space is just insane. Two bar stools, so you do not need to have another table set up, especially for couples camper. Coleman Mach AC there at the top. See the cabinets wrap 
that top corner too. Split sink, not just regular farmhouse. Three burner gas, microwave there, and then of course our 12 volt fridge, which gives you that full depth. So pantry in this case is here, which is really deep. So deep, you could probably put hangers of some kind on the inner wall and actually have some coat closet space. That is a reclining set of chairs there, but still in the same finish as what the Versa Lounge and other ones are going to be. And then our entertainment side with their mirrored fireplace soundbar above that. Now, it did include additional pantry space with all of your hookups on the back side that just fishes through for your TV. So pretty straightforward. Our controls this year, <clears throat> excuse me, our manual. You'd have a dimmer for your overhead lights and then solar's on board already. I'm seeing floor vents, so we are heated and enclosed underneath. So this is a mid-bath setup. You can see that archway is something unique for them. So it exposes the door. It's not a functional type thing because your doorway is still going to be as wide as others, but you do end up with that aesthetic that's very, very, very different. Good size shower with the skylight. Most are going to be 24 inches deep, 30 inches wide when you're in the travel trailer. And then our vanity side with our commode, kind of in line to what a lot of the others are. Plenty of space for your linens and things like that. Mirror, of course. And then our controls for our tankless are going to be here. The nice thing with a tankless. Say you like your temperature at 102, so you set it for 102 degrees. When this is on and set, and you got to turn your hot water on, you only turn your hot water on. No cold water mixing here with the tankless, because when it comes out, that's just the temperature it's going to be at. Wildwood has begun to use custom kings, so you're going to see this is also a custom king, and you're going to notice it's pushed up against the back wall, the reason being it's on a tilt control and in this case that control is on the wall push it up it's going to pull it back the nice thing there is it gives you walk around space or if you just need a way to lean back so people that suffer from issues at night sleeping completely flat that can help you guys look how big these windows are especially for a bedroom is that not crazy Lots of wardrobe space around it, and we do have cubbies that come in behind with 110 and 12 volt. So if you have a CPAP, things like that, you are good to go. And then that AC is ducted through. There is a space for a second AC at the front, but you're going to have to make sure that this unit is pre-prepped for that 50 amp before you purchase thinking you're gonna add an AC really easily later okay just bear that in mind okay so there's our 22 ERA arrows however you guys want to do it for this particular one it's very different in that it is a couples camper and it has a lot of space but it's not too divergent from what Baldwin is trying to do overall so our fit and our finishes and things like that are gonna be the same as all the others I'm actually appreciative of that. So, at least for my customers, I can swap out a floor plan idea with them and give them additional options in how they're thinking about how they're gonna use their particular space. This is definitely set up for a couple's camper only because there's no extra sleeping, right? But because this floor is so wide open, you could very easily pop in an air mattress or something like that and have no issue whatsoever. You could almost sleeping underneath that just to have that third person or if you have grandkids and you need somewhere for them to be every so often this would be a good idea your sub 
30 feet on your length and you're under 6,200 pounds. So say if you're towing with a 7,200 pound vehicle on the tow rating, you should be just fine. Good amount of height. You can match up to those trucks really easily. And there's gonna be a lot of small things that I didn't touch on when we just walked through it because if you, the things you can just see with your eye aren't gonna be the other things that are actually included with this particular camper or any camper really. So you're not gonna know what type of roof, any specifics about the chassis, the construction overall, things like that. Not that I can't dive into those or do all the research for it, but the reality is there's always gonna be additional things that the manufacturer does that are gonna be extras for you because of it being a newer model floor plan and things like that where they want to differentiate themselves on the construction side versus other manufacturers. Let me know what you think on this guy. And let me know what you think as far as getting into any camper on this lot. I always have a lot to see but I don't want to necessarily just bombard you guys either. All right, I appreciate you watching. Give me a like, give me a subscribe more than anything else. That way you don't miss anything I throw out, especially on my shorts. Those are gonna be a lot of insights and small things that come up between me and customers that I like to discuss later on. All right guys, have a good one.